guys, how's it going? Tess back again with episode number 5 of Pac-Man and we're coming into this one on the back of our Division 10 title win in episode number 4 so fingers crossed we can continue with that run of form into Division 9 and push ourselves further up through the leagues as soon as possible because of course the uh, the prize fund will come in very very handy when it comes to helping us build that silver side and buying those silver premium packs. So the first team we come up against is uh, probably a starter pack, doesn't seem to have bought at all in his uh, push through Division 10 into Division 9 so he's got a striker at left mid, striker at centre forward, low chemistry, not really much going on there and now unfortunately for him not only did he have a rather poor side he was pretty poor at the game as well. Now defensively he was quite solid to start off with it took me a while to break him down but once I did it was just an onslaught and uh, also when it came to attacking he just sprinted like nothing other than just hold down RT and run. But uh, Quayna scores a great individual effort here. Takes it around two or three players before slotting it tidily underneath the goalkeeper into that bottom left-hand corner. As the uh, the goalkeeper just didn't even bother to try and die for that. And then we do the cheeky Tevez bum wiggle as a celebration. But after a fine individual effort, the next goal is a wonderful team move. Uh, 11 passes in total, quite a few of them as you can see coming from one touch passes. Just an absolutely superb flowing move that ends up with a Barcelona style pass across the goalkeeper into the back of the net with that sliding finish. So Musa Gay puts us 3 0 up. And uh, that's a fantastic start. I genuinely was really, really impressed with that move. It definitely was Barcelona ticker tackle style. And uh, Gay is actually going to pick up his second of the game here. I'm not too sure whether it's Gay or Guy, how to pronounce it. Because I know there was a guy that used to play for Everton called Magai Gay or Magay Guy. But I can never remember which way around it is as we score a stupendous finesse shot with Musa Guy. That is absolutely spectacular in the 90th minute on his weak foot he's right footed and he scored that with his left foot absolutely dug it out from under his feet to bend that around the goalkeeper no chance and into the back of the net it goes we take a comfortable 5-0 win so we're off the mark in division 9 three points to get us going fantastic start we'll take a decent coin haul from it as well 600 coins from one game will come in very handy as well and as you can see from the chances and the position we were very much in control of that match so we're three marks three points and off the mark and uh, we need 13 to win the title in this one as opposed to the 12 from uh, Division 10 but we're going to open a silver premium pack as uh, as promised in the previous episode we are going to open one every single episode until we start playing with the silver side and uh, we're going to pull in this one as the animation flips around it's a, it's a lot slower the animation this year uh, I'm quite it's kind of hard to commentate on it because you used to go in going to open a pack and we're going to get but you have to wait a little bit extra this time we get Escudero 88 pace on a left midfielder Japanese place for uh, Seoul in the, the Korean League. Uh, decent, actually, two other players as well. I was quite chuffed with that. Uh, silver striker that looks like he's going to be quite strong, so he could be decent. And a uh, centre-back as well with decent pace and decent uh, decent defending stats. So well, we also put a couple of kits. And this kit, this th uh, third kit, the FC Zurich kit, that looks really, really smart. Now, kits like that normally in the transfer market go for a little bit of cash. So you have to let me know in the comment section down below whether uh, I've pulled another worldie in that uh, in that kit, whether that goes for anything, or whether it's not like the old Barcelona kit and uh, the other one that was shaded. And unfortunately, we're not going to get anything from it. But hopefully, that will sell for a bit. But we come up against a guy with a great silver side, all Premier League talent, and uh, absolutely fantastic to be completely honest. Players like Wilfred Zaha are in there, Gary Hooper, and Shane Long up top, and he hit the bar early on. Fortunately, the defender is able to get to the ball ahead of the striker and we were able to race away and have a chance of our own. And then Craig Gardner playing at right back. He's a right back this year, not a centre mid. Hits the inside of the post and he comes close yet again to taking the lead. So you can see how dominant he was being in the early stages of this game. But we was us that was actually going to make the breakthrough. He pulls the defender out of position there. Leaves the space in behind for Zenahulu to... Uh, or Zenulahu... That's such a weird name. Zenu Lahu to, uh, to put us 1-0 up. It's an absolutely stu uh, wonderful chance. So uh, I was <laughs> absolutely buzzing to go 1-0 up in this, considering how dominant he'd been. And we went in, went in at half-time 1-0 up. And uh, completely against the run of play again, straight after half-time, we were actually going to make it too. Zenu Lahu again whips the ball in. It's a poor cross. Villafania is going to pick it up at the back post. He's going to try and find some space. He's going to whip in a cross of his own. Again, it's a poor cross. The defender clears. Falls to another defender, doesn't get his pass out of the box, sorted properly. Zenelar, who has a shot, it's blocked. Another chance for him to clear. Fisa blocks it. He ha has a shot of his own. Keeper saves it. Keeper then dives to try and clear it. Bats it against his own defender's leg. And then it goes in off the defender. Unfortunately for us, it goes down as a Fisa goal rather than an own goal. And that is a complete, 
absolute fail of a goal, but uh, we will take it. And uh, he was actually able to pull one back here. Lamar, who is so, so fast, pushes down that left-hand side, gets to the byline, squares it back across, and Shane Long is there for the volleyed finish. It was good technique as well, actually, on that finish. And again, he continued to fly at me. And Wilfred Zaha here goes on an absolute mazy run before smashing it into the back of the net with the outside of his right foot. A really, really nice finish from Zaha. And uh, the goalkeeper really didn't stand much of a chance with that one. And I thought I'd let a two-goal lead slip. But just five minutes before full time, Zenalahu picks the ball up on the corner of the box. Great feet to get away from one. Beats the same defender again, smashes it, and it goes right into the top corner. And uh, the real ball physics played a part in that because that actually bent away from the goalkeeper. Because he struck across it, it bent away from the goalkeeper and uh, up into that right hand corner. You can see from the second replay here just how that extra bend takes it away from the goalkeeper's reach. He may have got fingertips to it had, uh, had he hit the ball true with the shot but uh, fortunately he didn't he cut across it he slashed it into the top corner we win 3-2 and we take maximum points from this episode so six points and off the mark very very well indeed in division nine we're almost halfway to promotion with still eight games left to play in this particular division so thank you very much for watching guys that is going to bring this particular episode to a close of course feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy subscribe if you haven't by clicking on the link in the description or on the annotation on screen over the Pac-Man. Of course, follow me on Twitter at Chesnoy Gaming as well to keep up to date with everything that goes on with me. And uh, again, if you missed the previous episode, feel free to click on the annotation over the pink ghost to take you to that video. And of course, as per usual, we will have a Tottenham Career Mode video coming out later tonight. So uh, feel free to check your sub boxes for that and also check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days. But that's going to wrap this one up. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, I will see you next time.